God the Father, this is a call for the salvation of those of you who will not question the heresies about to be declared. Thursday, October 24, 2013 at 7.45 p.m. My dearest daughter, I come to tell the world that the enemies who roam the earth, in the guise of those who say they bring the word of my son to the masses, have now joined as one. As one, they bring all their powers together and will deface the earth with their wicked deceit. I am ready. Waiting. As soon as they introduce their vile laws, I will strike out and the world will witness my punishments. My warnings have fallen on deaf ears and those too proud to accept the hand of mercy, given to you through my messages. The leaders of those who will persecute you, in the name of human rights, will suffer by my hand. They believe that their power is almighty and that they are invincible, but they will know soon that they are nothing without the power of their Creator. I am the author of life, and should those who decide to use their power to take away the lives of my children, in both body and soul, they will lose everything. When you fight my children and betray my Son, Jesus Christ, there is little hope for you. I do not bestow my mercy on you easily, for you cause me great anger. Yet I crave your loyalty but warn you of the dangers of dallying with the evil one. I will give you every chance, to turn away from the shackles, which bind you to the unholy trinity. You must remove yourselves from the chains of Satan. Your time is short. I ask you to look to my Holy Bible, the Gospels, and seek out the signs you were given about the great apostasy foretold, for it has engulfed the world and spreads like a deadly virus into every conceivable part of your society. You have been infested and now I come, your Father, to cleanse you of this terrible affliction. You must beg me for help, before it is too late for you. You must now recite this crusade prayer. Ask me for help. Crusade prayer 124 Hear my plea for freedom. O God, my merciful Father, Creator of all that is, hear my plea for freedom. Release me from the chains of slavery and protect me from evil persecution. Help me to discern the truth and come to my aid, even if I am confused and may doubt your word. Forgive me if I offend you and take me into the refuge of your new paradise on earth, amen. My time, to declare the second coming of my son is close. Time will move swiftly and the reign of my enemies, short-lived though it may be, will seem like an eternity, because of the cruelty they will show to my children. They will show no loyalty, whatsoever, to those foolish men, who will swear allegiance to the beast. Just as the evil one hates me, so he hates any of my children, both the good and the wicked. This is a call for the salvation of those of you who will not question the heresies about to be declared. You must question and question any doubts, which invade your souls, when you are unhappy with any new form of doctrine, which does not feel right in your hearts. I have not given the authority for any new law or sacrament, to be introduced in my most holy name. Your beloved Father. God the Most High.